All right, so unfortunately, I've been trying to make this damn video for two days now. And, um, well, since yesterday. And I don't know what the deal is with my phone here. Um, they keep saying that I don't have enough storage space. I cleared out everything I could possibly clear out. I cleared the caches. Um, I've deleted files. I've emptied the trash bin. I've done everything and I cannot figure it out. So I'm going to have to take it to the store and see what they did last time to get my storage back. But, um, I may end up having to buy a card, but I'm going to try to do this video with this other phone, this broken phone, and see what happens. Uh, but anyway, yesterday I wore Ventana by Armoff, in which most of you may already know is a clone, or in my opinion, a damn good clone of Dior Sauvage. Um, this one does not have the harsh pepper note that Savage has in it to my nose, which makes me like this one more. If there's another clone out there of Savage, then I don't know anything about it. Although I think there is, I think I have a decant of something. I can't remember what it is, but, uh, to me, this is the best version. The bottle sucks. I hate how this shit looks. It looks like some jailhouse bars or some stupid shit like that. But anyway, for the price, 20 something, maybe $30 now for Ventana. You get a damn good clone with a shitty bottle presentation. And the box sucks also. But, you know, it is what it is. But this is what I had on yesterday when I went to Jacksonville, Florida. I actually went back. I took back three fragrances I purchased from Marshall's. Um, in which I know a subscriber said, man, I know you didn't buy, I can't remember the name of it. It was black something or something black or whatever, but yeah, I did. And like I said to him, our noses are different. So just because you don't like something or you think something sucks, doesn't mean the next person is going to think that. Although as a reviewer, uh, or should I say amateur reviewer, I am, um, I've found out that we are very influential when it comes to fragrances. So if we speak on a fragrance and we say that something is good, people tend to go buy it. And I've heard a lot of people say, hey, man, I went out and bought, you know, horse nuts on a dog dick and um, it was pretty good or it sucked. Um, I don't advise you advise people to always take our opinion or what we say at face value i expect people to do their homework do their research and go out there and test fragrances and make sure that you like it versus listening to what someone else says because i bought this friday and this is uh from the house of lalit this is Homage alone, I guess I'm saying that right, and I wasn't sure at first whether this was a men's or a women's fragrance, but when I got home and looked it up, um, it actually is a men's fragrance, and to me, I like it, it has some sweetness to it, uh, it does smell a little dated, but I tend to like it. Uh, on first smell, I did let somebody smell it in the store. There was actually um, a guy and his girlfriend, and I guess it was her mom or sister or somebody. I think it was her mom or grandma was in a wheelchair. And I asked the guy, um, was that his wife or girlfriend or whatever? And they looked at each other like, uh, like they didn't know what to say. Comes to find out it was his girlfriend. And I said, well, do you mind if I borrow her nose? I just want her to smell this and see what they smell, what they think. Because I like to get women's opinions. And she didn't want to smell it. Um, she let whoever the lady was in the wheelchair smell it. And she said she liked it. And then she smelled it. And then she liked it. And then he smelled it. He liked it. So I said, fuck it, man. Whatever. I'll just get it. Um, it was 30 bucks, 29.99. So, um, but when I showed this 
in my uh, video when I got home Friday, somebody said that they saw this and they smelled it and they didn't like it. So that's what I mean. Um, always do your research. Do your homework. Just because my nose, uh, just because I like something don't always mean that the next person is going to like it. Uh, just like Ventana, I may be one of the only people that like this, but everybody else may hate it. So, you know, and I, I can't get mad about that because that's how fragrances work, hit or miss. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get to the story. So, since I've already tried to do this video, um, this is probably my third time now or fourth time. I'm just going to condense it. So, when I took the fragrances back to Marshall's, got my $41 and some change back, I stopped by Pecan Park Flea Market, which is still like on the outskirts of uh, Jacksonville, Florida. And Pecan Park is almost like a landmark now. It's been there for years, ever since I first moved to Brunswick, that place was there. Uh, that's where everyone used to go on the weekends. Not so much now, but um, it's still a happening place. And, uh, you know, people sell secondhand stuff and people do have new stuff that they sell. But it's like, you know, bootleg type stuff. Um, I've seen a lot of bootleg belts like Louis Vuitton and stuff like that. Ferragamo. Anyway, uh, I go, the first place I always go, I don't give a shit whether I'm with my kids, whether it was my then wife. <clears throat> They can go wherever the fuck they gonna go. They know where I'm going. It was one or two places back in the day. I was going to the perfume shop or fragrance shop. I should say I hate saying perfume because men don't wear perfume. We wear cologne. Uh, it was either the fragrance shop or the car audio shop. And being that I don't <clears throat> deal with car audio like I used to when I was younger, I used to be heavy into that shit. Um, I don't go there anymore. I go straight to the fragrance shop and I'm done. I don't care about what else the flea market has to offer. I don't even care about the food court. I just want to see what fragrances are out there, what's reasonably uh, priced, all of that. So I go in, I talk to the guy, and it's actually a guy and his wife that runs the shop. And the last time I was there, he said something interesting because he didn't... He talks to a lot of people, and a lot of people pretend to know what they're talking about when it comes to fragrances and they only talk about fragrances that they have smelt before or or know well i'm pretty knowledgeable about some fragrances also i have probably over 200 now uh, i have to do a recount but um i'm pretty knowledgeable about some things i have looked up fragrances even the ones i don't have and the last time I was there, he said that he didn't realize how knowledgeable I was uh, after all the time that he's talked to me and that I would be a perfect candidate for somebody who uh, could take over his shop after he retires. <clears throat> Sounds cool to me. I don't have a problem with that. But my thing is, I don't want to work for someone. I don't want this guy to be sitting at home on his ass chilling while I'm busting my ass, you know, doing all the labor and he's benefiting, uh, reaping all the benefits. So if I'm going to have a shop one day, it's going to have to be mine. I don't want nobody else's name on it to where if they decide they want to give it to a grandson or, you know, some alleged child that comes up somewhere or, you know, something like that. And it gets taken away from me. I don't want that. So. With that being said, um, we talked fragrances, and I seen that he had a bunch of Karen Low. He had some for men. I think he had like three for men, and he had like six or seven for women. And I told him, I said, well, I'm not even going to ask you how much you sell these for, which I'm talking about these. I said, I'm not even going to ask you how much you selling your fragrances for. But I'm just going to tell you that I seen these at TJ Maxx and, and Marshall's. Um, no, TJ Maxx is the only place I've seen these. I've seen these at TJ Maxx. 
and I can buy these for twelve ninety nine. And if you don't believe it, believe the hype. Sticker still on the bottle, twelve ninety nine. He says he sell his for twenty five, which is not too bad. Uh, but when you can find them for twelve ninety nine, it's bad. And then Perfume World here in our local mall sells them for like forty five, so that's a rip off. So if you ever see Karen Low fragrances, especially especially these square bottles like this. They have a white one that I want, and they have the black one that I had in my hand one day at TJ Maxx, and I set it down, not thinking that somebody was going to come pick it up, and they did, which only left me to buy this one. But um, don't be fooled when it comes to some of these fragrances. You can find these fragrances for cheaper than what some of these uh, fragrance stores sell them for. Just do your homework. Get out there, do the footwork, and you'll find them. Um, so I left out of there, and I walked to the third row, which is the far end. <clears throat> There's three different rows in the flea market here. The second row, half of that burned down, so it actually stops halfway, and then that's the food court area that it cuts off at now, because it used to be... Um, shopping, food court in the middle on the, of the second row, and then you have more shopping after the food court. Well, they stop at the food court now because the rest of it burned down several years back. I go over to the third row, and that's one of the rows that has the cell phone place that can fix phones, which is the phone I'm using now, the broke one. So as I cut across and I'm turning left to start walking up the third aisle, I notice a table... <clears throat> actually the first table I saw was on the left side and it was a black guy standing behind the table but I was going to go over there but I changed my mind because I know he was going to try to coax me into buying something so I walked past that one and then I came to another one which is right in the middle so the sign said something about going out of business or discounted fragrances or some shit like that and they say all fragrances were $20 so they had Doji and Gabbana the one, they had Burberry Touch they had Prada they had all kinds of different fragrances for men and women so first thing I do I walk over I pick up the box, no batch code so that's one uh one of my antennas went up. Pull the bottle out of the box. And this is not one of the boxes. So this is Zara 9.0. So I pulled the bottle out. Nothing on the bottom. No batch code. Nothing. So I look at the bottle on Dolce & Gabbana the one. And you can see. Like it's, it's actually. The Dolce & Gabbana the one is embossed on the bottle. It's not a sticker. This bottle actually had a fucking sticker and it was glued on. And you can see the glue running from underneath it. Like, at least clean the glue off the shit. You know what I'm saying? So I picked up another bottle. And um, before I did that, I smelled the Dolce & Gabbana, the one. And it smelled watered down and cheap. And it didn't have any strength to it. So I picked up several other fragrances. I smelled them. They all smelled watered down. The boxes looked like they've been wet before. Uh, the um, cellophane or the plastic wrapping that covers the, the package it wasn't sealed tight it was loose like you can tell somebody vacuum sealed it kind of or whatever so 20 bucks is not worth losing money over some watered down shit that somebody done some home brew or something uh, I would much rather spend $20 on a fragrance that I know is real and it ends up sucking. Not saying that this sucks, but I'm just using this as a reference. I would much rather buy a fragrance and spend 20 bucks on it and it sucks. Knowing that versus I can buy something that's not real at all. And I just gave somebody some money for some damn water in a bottle. Like that sucks. So don't fall for the hype guys. Make sure when you see these fragrances at these flea markets and, and shops... Check them batch codes, match them against the box in the bottle. 
make sure the bottle looks authentic. There's no glues running. There's not all kinds of crazy stickers and the damn font on them. It's not off. Check all of that stuff, guys. Um, with that being said, I'm going to end this video because this phone is about to go dead on me. So, thank you guys again for the support, for the love. I appreciate it greatly. We are going to get this thing back on track. Hopefully, I can get these thousand subscribers so I can get this damn uh, live block off of my back. And we can get back to the fun we were having. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.